quite a few of you guys asking me about this other audio Zeroni or audio zero one whatever it is amplifier now I know it's not going to do what the 1200 did the last video I did because it has two 25 amp fuses but you guys asked for it so I figured I'd do it real quick and just get the confirmed numbers but um, two 25 watt fuses so it's probably going to do around 500 maybe maybe creep up to six dynamic um, just like the 1200 watt I did it's heavy feels very good it's this does not feel cheap whatsoever Tiffany style RCAs you got a gain phase switch subsonic bass boost bass frequency high pass low pass I already went over that um, looks like it's got 12 gauge speaker outs and then what are those four gauge maybe inputs so pretty beefy little amp again heavy looks really nice um, even the back is not that thin junky sheet metal that a lot of amps have and they give you rubber feet right here too which is nice so when you mount it um, it's already got rubber standoff feet so that's pretty cool and see there's two holes back there where you just shoot some screws through it and then these front two down there are exposed so and you do not get a base remote knob with this and I think these are 55 bucks I'll put a link below I do not work with these companies I'm just a dude doing reviews so I can't help it if they only have five left you know I don't like some of some of the other youtubers they won't do reviews unless there's a bunch of amps in stock so they get a bunch of commission I'm just testing this out for you guys I know there's only a few of these left so don't bite my head off like I said I don't work with the companies or anything I just I'm just a car audio guy and I just like to do these reviews and give you guys the info so let's get this hooked up and see what it does alright guys so now this amp they say it's only 2 ohm stable I may go ahead and try 1 ohm with it but let's get started with the 4 ohm test All right, so we got 281 watts at 4 ohms uncertified, and we drew 28.7 amps at 14.37 volts. And I will go ahead and put the certified and uncertified ratings on the results on the screen now. All right, here we go, 2 ohm test, and this is only a 2 ohm stable amplifier as per spec, so. I may try one ohm, see what happens. All right, so 486 watts at two ohms uncertified. I will put both the uncertified and certified results on the screen now. We drew 53.4 amps at 14.33 volts. Now let's go ahead and try uh, dynamic tests at 4 ohm and 2 ohm. Guys, I just wanted to add to, I had some, some questions of, some people were asking me periodically why my efficiency ratings are lower than some of the other YouTubers. Well, there's really only a couple YouTubers doing real amp dynos. But, um, and the reason is this. <clears throat> A lot of the other guys, they're calculating efficiency on the certified number. If you want to rewind the video, see the certified number stops sooner. So the, max, the amplifier is not at its maximum capability. It's at its maximum capability on uncertified. So the other guys are calculating efficiency on certified where there's less amperage draw because there's less power output. I think it the industry standard should be on uncertified because that's max power max current draw but I'm gonna start adding both of those in there so if you guys are asking why that's why so I've always based it off uncertified which is max power max current draw 
the other guys are doing it on certified, which is not max power and not max current draw, which I don't think that's, you know, I think it should be uncertified. But just to give you guys numbers to compare, I'm going to start providing both, which is what you saw earlier when we did the 2 ohm and 4 ohm results. So I hope that answers any questions for that. Um, I don't know if they do it to make the amps look better or what, but I'm going to provide both numbers from here on out for you guys. So I just wanted to clear that up for you. All right, 4 ohm dynamic burst. Let's see what happens. All right, <clears throat> not much more. 284 watts dynamic at 4 ohm. Let's go ahead and see what happens at 2 ohm. All right, so we got 486 <clears throat> dynamic at 2 ohms. So I figured this was going to be about 500 watts because the two 25 amp fuses. Um, so, you know, for, man, I think it was like 55 bucks. Still not bad for, you know, around 500 watts. So I'll leave that, guys. I'll leave that up to you. Like I said, I just got a few requests, and I figured I'd just knock this one out. Now let me get brave here and try a 1 ohm test and see what happens and hopefully this thing doesn't pop. Alright guys, we're going to do 1 ohm dynamic and see what happens, even though this amp's only rated down to 2 ohm, so hopefully it won't pop on us. Alright, there we go. So. 777 watts dynamic at 1 ohm. That's not too bad for $55. Um, let me go ahead and try to run a regular sine wave uncertified and certified and see what happens. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do the certified and uncertified test, which that puts an extreme constant non reactive load on the amplifier. So it's pretty harsh, and this thing's not rated for one ohm. So if it pops, I'm not going to blame it, but we got to try it. 55 bucks, why not? Let's see what happens. Cross your fingers. <laughs> oh, oh, we blew a fuse but we didn't pop the amp. We got 734 watts out of it at 1 ohm. And I heard the fuse pop. Let me just verify that, but the amp's really not hot at all. Let me go ahead and check those fuses and just verify it was just the fuse that popped. If, that, if that's the case, hey, that's not bad because at least it wasn't the amp. All right, guys, so it did just pop the fuses. And that's what those fuses are there for. If it's drawing more current than it's supposed to, the good thing is the amp didn't pop. So if you wanted to be brave and run this thing at one ohm, these are 25 amp fuses. You could put a couple 30 amp fuses in there. I'm sure just two 30s would be fine because it just did it at the very end. And this is an uncertified test with a straight sine wave so you're never going to see this kind of stress if you run at one ohm in the real world with box rise so let me pop a couple new fuses in here and just verify the amps okay so far pretty cool though so again if you can get away with running this at one ohm 777 watts not bad for 55 bucks hey guys moment of truth i put two new fuses in there let's see if this sucker turns back on Oh, and the amp is fine. So this thing pulled off a one ohm test and it's only rated at two and it did pretty good. So 
these fuses did what they were supposed to do. They popped when it got too much current, more than it was made for. But I think, like I said, if you wanted to be sweet, sneaky, you could put two 30 amps in. They're just a little bigger, especially with box rise in the real world. Or even if you just leave the 25 amps with box rise, you can probably run this thing at one ohm and do it at your own risk because it's only rated at two, but you're not going to get that kind of load you know in your car with box rise that I just put on it here so pretty solid little amplifier I hope you guys and guys enjoyed that video I know I got a lot of requests to go ahead and do this other amp I wasn't gonna do it but I do this for you guys it's fun for me and if you guys appreciate all the work and the time I put into this please hit that subscribe button I'd really appreciate it it would mean a lot to me and if you guys have any other suggestions feel free to let me know anytime I'm open-minded. I mean, I'm doing this for myself because I'm interested and I'm a base head and a you know, budget base head. But by all means, if you guys have, you know, some ideas, let me know. And obviously I can't do everything, but I'll try my best to, you know, do the reviews that you guys want to see. So, all right, guys, thanks so much. And if you guys do want to buy one of these, there's a link below. There's not many left. Don't bite my head off. I don't work with the company. I just bought this and did it. So I think there's only a few, a few left. But it is what it is. Just we'll keep an eye out. Maybe they'll get more in stock. All right, guys. Thank you.